Seth? Can see everything. Can we see anything? Let's just do a little refresh. Make this magic happen. Oh, come on. Oh, because I'm looking at the wrong Facebook page. <laughs> I good I. Let's just do this properly. Sorry, guys. I won't be a moment. <sighs> Public holiday. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's six of you there. Oh, be a nice quiet little session, won't it? All right, let's do this. Hello, Wendy, Linda, Susan. Hello, ladies. I hope you're enjoying your day, wherever you are, whatever you're doing today. Welcome to nataliemay.com.au, where we are. Um, see you tomorrow, Lou where we are we're doing a little creating today we've had a slow start to the public holiday uh and i have <laughs> just watching louise leave sorry um and yeah slow start to the public holiday and have decided that i'm just gonna take it easy just like you guys are because i deserve a kind of half day off as well like you do oh shit i forgot to get water um i'll have to go and get water in a minute Bugger. Let's be honest, I'm not going to drink my bottle of water while I'm doing this. Let's just tip that out. So as part of the Great International Craft Show, we have got lots of specials happening for you today. Today being Thursday the 26th of January on nataliemay.com.au. For today only, you will get 15% off of uh, stamps, you will get 15% off of dies, you will get 15% off of papers, and also 15% off of Life of Colour products. Um, that is for today only. There will be a new special tomorrow, okay? So that uh, you'll need to snaffle those items today. The prices will be calculated automatically at the checkout uh, and you need to pop that order through. Now, while I'm just gonna pop some gesso down on my page, oh, no, I'm not. While I'm going to pop some gesso down on my page, don't forget to take advantage of our no judgment postage. So for those of you tuning in for the first time, what that means is we are going to, uh, we won't be posting any orders until Monday, Tuesday. So you can add to your orders over the weekend. You can build a, a nice little collection of bits and pieces. You do need to pay for postage on your very first order of $11.95 or $14.95 for Express. Uh, and then all additional orders after you pay for your initial postage, you can select no judgment. But for the first initial order, $11.95 and then no judgment after that. So postage is not free and it's also limited to one and a half kilos. So if you shop up a storm and buy seven kilos of rubber stamps and patent paper today because it's 15% off, then you will get an additional charge for postage only because, you know, we have to pay for postage. We are a small business and uh, we do need to... Um, you know, pay for postage as well. So uh, we have got some awesome specials in Natalie May's classes as well. So that means that some of the classes from previous years, if you have a look in our show bundles bit on the website, you will find uh, numerous art journal classes from previous years. And we have reduced those down to $19.95 instead of $26 for a class. So if you're wanting to grab a, a previous class that you missed out on that you liked, then you can do that. Uh, you can also get one of the, you can take advantage of our tag bundle too, which you can do the three tag classes for whatever price I said that was going to be. $69.95. 
Um, so there you go. All right, now I need to, I'll wrap that because I want to try and keep my water uncontaminated. Um, yeah, the bundles are great prices, Linda. Hello, Dee. Hello, Susan. Hello, Jackie. Jackie, our new brand ambassador. So Jackie has, Jackie, the lovely, lovely Jackie Hay has got, has done three amazing scrapbook kits for me as well. So if you have a look in our show specials, what we have done is we have got them in there at a fantastic price. Three amazing kits. There's a Vicky Booten kit using the pr uh, print shop scrapbooking. Uh, there is also a kit using Uniquely Creative and then there's also one using Paper Rose Papers. So they are fantastic value for money and the kits are actually um, loaded full of materials where you can build and do more layouts as well. So they will all be, they're all available online now and you will find those in the show specials category as well as the kits section on the website. All right, today I am gonna do a little art journal page because I was totally unprepared, had my public holiday hat on, but I thought that I would use my Daydreamer collage paper because it's, because it's the first one that I grabbed. Um, Mel's just commented, uh, yes, when you are placing your order online, just take a moment to check and make sure that you have got the right shipping, okay? Because if you accidentally, if you accidentally choose no judgment, then that's okay. What I will do is I'll just send you a little message and or we, at the end of the show, I can just flick you through an invoice. So I know it's a mistake that everybody makes. You just rush and put it through. I know, because you're only human. Um, so this is my Daydreamer collage paper. Now, these will not be on special this weekend, but what I'm doing here is I'm just using a wet paintbrush to tear away this white paper on the side here. Uh, rather than just tearing it or cutting it, I don't want to cut it because it's going to give me a sharp edge. And none of this here looks like it's gonna have, you know, would look good with a sharp edge. Uh, I'm using my Dina Wakely Media Craft Journal. So the journal that I'm using is my, my go-to journal at the moment. I love the size of this journal. That's the main reason I like it. So I'm going to, I popped a little bit of white gesso down in the background and I've done that because I, I want a, a white base under her face. To show, uh, to show, so her skin tone remains crisp, and I'm going to colour that. It wouldn't matter what colour her skin tone was, uh, and I'm going to then stick this down in a minute and add some, and paint around it and add some bits. Uh, that's the only plan I've got. So let's get into it. Let's. I might grab some acrylic paint. Uh, any suggestions on what sort of colours I can go with here? I haven't really got much of a plan. I was thinking uh, perhaps, actually I don't even know what I was thinking. I had no thinking happening. Colour palette. I do know that I need to go with some dark tones. So I will have black because I want to extend this out a bit, but to build in and around that, oh, God, you girls love teal. Ooh, purple and navy. Wendy, that's harsh, mate. Teal, turquoise. Yep, yeah, okay, we've got that. I'll go with turquoise, Dina Wakely paint. Uh, how about, as a compromise for purple, I go for periwinkle. Navy, I will use navy. I will go with night. Uh, and... I have grabbed, no, I won't grab that one. I will grab Peacock. So I would have got one, two, I've got this colour palette out here. Um, Jackie, red, white and blue is Australia Day. Look, I am not a fan of using red on my projects. Um, so I'm going to stay away from that today. But I am going to use these colours. 
Uh, okay, let's go with this. So I'm going to use a pencil first to give myself a little guide on where my face is going to go. Uh, so I want to, I've got to offset a little because I'm going to do a little painting around this, but I don't want the paint to go under where her face is going to go. So I kind of want to do that, okay? So I know that I don't want to put uh, paint in that section. So I'm just going to grab my little Dina Wakely clip here and I'm just going to tape that there so that I can keep referring to it. And I'm going to use a paintbrush. Let's find a paintbrush here. Look, I've got a little uh, Art by Marlene. That's annoying. I've got the fan going in here because it's stinking hot here in the studio. Because um, it's a lovely warm day here in Redlode. Uh, so I'm going to pop down a little bit of this to start. Uh, and I haven't opened that one yet, so let's just not get caught out. Let's take that plastic off. Uh, so this is a Dilusions paint. This is the colour that I'm using that I'm opening up here is called Periwinkle Blue. And people quite often ask me what's the difference between the paints. Um, Dilusions paints are a little thinner, a little bit more fluid than what Dina Wakely paints are. Uh, and I, Dina Wakely paints, as you can tell, hold their shape here and they're not running. Whereas when I add this colour on in a moment, this paint, you will notice that there is a distinct difference with how it goes on. It's a lot more fluid, which is fine. So I'm just using a bit of a dry brush technique to get this colour on. I'm going to pop some up here as well. Uh, and now giving it a shake first because it does have a ball in it to get it moving. I'm just going to add little bits. Now, because it's all from the same colour family, I am using, I'm not cleaning my brush, and I'm just feathering that really, really lightly over the top. Now, I'm going to put it straight onto my brush here, which it will allow me to do. And I'm going to pop some up on the side so I can grab it. So 15% off stamps for today includes some amazing brands, including the brand new Tracy Scott by Paper Artsy. Uh, it also includes the new visible image stamps that have just arrived and I'm going to use those on this layout I've decided. I've got some here next to me that I'm going to have a bit of a play with. Um, it also includes All and Create, it includes uh, Dina Wakely stamps, uh, it includes lots and lots of fabulous brands so make sure that you jump online and make the most of that, okay? Perfect opportunity. So as you can see, I'm just using Peacock now as my next colour. So Peacock, and I'm just lightly brushing it over the top here. Like that. And I'm leaving a little bit of craft showing through. I'm going to go back in with some more of this lovely periwinkle and layer over the top. Like so... And I would probably also add a little bit of white over this in a moment as well for blending. All right, so that's a good start. My image here is going to sit something like that. So I might, now that I've done that, I'm going to add some more up the top here in the bit, the gap that I missed. And once I stick this down, I'm going to be adding a few more little bits, a bit more colour to it. Mm. 
rather than wet it. Wendy Carpenter is just asking the question, do I have any stamps with a Wren image? As No, I don't think I do, my love. I don't remember seeing one off the top of my head. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I would like to stick down my collage paper. Uh, to do this, I'm finding a, a flat brush. I've got every paintbrush under the sun here except for the one that I want. Okay, so I'm using the Dina Wakely Gel Medium and I'm going to pop this on kind of like I normally do where I'm contacting school books. So I've got it in the position that I want, about there, and I'm going to do a little bit at a time. And stick that down. And then I'm gonna go over the top of it in that little area just to push out any air bubbles. This I find personally is the most effective way of using uh, collage paper and gel medium. Now I can peel it, peel it up and go from there. Hello, Sandra Benedict, how are you my friend? Um, now Sandra, just a little personal conversation between the two of you, between the two of us. I have not posted your order that you placed yesterday. So if you would like to, we ran out of time at the end of the day yesterday. I don't quite know where, where my days go, honestly. But uh, if you would like to add to you, your order, since you placed it so late in the day, uh, you can do that. Um, all of the other orders that came through, there was only one that we never had time to do yesterday, and that was your order. But everything else, we try and get things all out in the same day because we hate the idea that you have to wait for your order. Um, I had a little bit of a experience uh, before Christmas. The Black Friday sales, I bought something from a very, very well-known sporting company. And I bought it on the Black Friday sales and I didn't receive it until after Christmas. I was so disappointed with their customer service that I will never use them again. Um, really disappointing stuff, actually. So we do make a point of trying to get all the orders out to you as soon as possible because uh, if I hate waiting for an order, I am fairly certain that you also hate waiting for an order. All right, so you can see what's happening here. I'm sticking it on. Now I'm just polishing it over the top with my finger while it's still got gel medium on it just to take away any brush strokes and to squeeze out any bubbles that might be there before I stick down this little chinny chin chin bit. <coughs> Excuse me. It also speeds up the drying time. This was a little tip that I learned from Tim Holtz a couple of years ago when the lovely Alison Bevis and I went and did classes with him. Now I'm going to clean my fingers. All right. So now you can see what's going on here. We have got my image down. I've got my colour added in and around it. I'm just taking off any excess. And now I want to look at incorporating this black area into the, into the journal. So how am I going to do that is the question. I have got some white paint. I've got these colours that I've started off with here. I'm going to keep them close. But I'm going to pull out this navy blue that was mentioned earlier, which is night. And I have got some black marble dilutions paint. Cool. Not very much, but I want to. I want to use my paintbrush now to play with extending this out a little before I pop some white over the top. Um, So I'm going to start with the navy blue with night, which is the Dina Wakely colour. And I'm going to, in dry vertical strokes, incorporate it into the image. Just like 
that. And I'm now going to grab a little bit of black and take it in over the image a little. But this is what works for me with incorporating when I'm trying to incorporate an image into the background. So play, laying down your foundation with black first, well, sorry, with the image first, then blending it all through. And all of this around here, I'm going to be tidying this up as well. Can't just leave that sitting there because it looks a bit weird. The whole idea here is that we're creating an image that it looks like we've drawn it ourselves and we have created this image ourselves. That's the whole concept of a collage paper. Well, I think that anyway. So now I'm just going to smudge it a bit. Take it up here. Use my finger. Make it a little smudgy smudgy just to get into those gaps. But it's not quite black because I've added this beautiful night navy blue paint in here as well. Right, so what I'm going to do is grab some peacock now. Hello, Alison. And I'm going to grab some of the periwinkle again. And the other colour that I use is turquoise. And I need to incorporate this all back in together. So now it's just going to be taking a little bit of the paint. And it's just these little details that I think brings a page together. I could leave it like this, but I really like the idea of now taking the colours and, and moving them around on the page to overlap to help tie it all in together. I did miss a big bit down here, so I can go in with that. So now I'm trying to take away that, here's the image that I stuck on look, which is, you know, accurate, but... I'm going to let that dry because I've accidentally grabbed some black there and I'm going to let that dry then I'm going to go over it with a lighter colour, okay, because I don't love where that went. So the cool thing about acrylic paint, of course, is because it is acrylic paint, you can paint over the top with another layer to help that blend in. Like so. Now the other things, ladies, while I'm doing this, the other things that we have on special for today only, of course, is Life of Colour pens, dyes and patterned paper. So if you've seen some patterned paper that you must have in your life or a collection of patterned paper that you hummed and hard about, now would be the time to grab it. Patterned paper won't be on special again this weekend. So you need to, if you want to utilise that, now would be the time. Um, and they, those prices will automatically be reduced at the checkout when you go through and um, add those to your cart. So we will look after you that way. And then, of course, we are posting orders Monday and Tuesday. And if you live locally here in Adelaide, then your order will be ready for collection next Wednesday and not sooner. Um, we will... We are unable to pick the local orders until after we've packed the postage ones. That is our, our little system. All right, so I'm pretty happy with that. You can see how that's all kind of blended in quite nicely. Um, the lady that I'm using here, which one did I say it was, Julie? Um, it is, sorry. Julie's just asked the question. I'm pretty sure it's the Daydreamer. Daydreamer lady. She is a, a more of an original one that I had earlier. So now I'm going to add some white paint. 
So we know that white gives dimension, white gives a pop, so I want to use white paint. So I'm going to clean my brush off completely, giving it a good swish around. Take all of the excess water out of that brush so it's going to go on nice and dry. Grabbing this white paint, I'm going to now give it a real lift. Now, if you don't have white paint, you can use gesso. That will work just fine. Um, but I decided that white paint is going to get, be my go-to. So I wanted some white down here and I'm feeling the need for a bigger paintbrush. So I'm going to pop in again this evening. Um, I'm only going to be doing two lives today, two live creation sessions today, um, as I would like to spend some time with my family, just like you guys. Um, and I will be popping in this evening uh, after dinner, because let's be honest, there's sweet nothing on TV unless you're into tennis or cricket, um, which is not me. So I thought I'm going to take a little box of goodies home and create at home uh, and I thought I would I've got no idea what I'm going to do yet but that's okay so I'm going to do that this evening um, out in my old studio so you can see the bit of a difference that white is going to give it it's going to give it a really lovely pop okay so what did I do with it here? and I love the idea I'm quite looking forward to the idea of, of creating at home on a limited creative like you know not having access to everything that I've got here that I would normally have oh I was gonna fix that bit wasn't I there we go has a little depth underneath it now yes all right so back to the white. So this lovely white gives a really lovely pop of dimension and just a little bit of um, white. Yeah, white and black give dimension. So there we go. I'm happy with that. And I'm going to put my water in, my brush in water so that I don't do anything with them again. I'm going to wipe this up. And I want to get a stamped image and put over the top here. So I'm going to wipe that paint up before I accidentally stick something in it. And I'm going to pop that aside. I'm just going to bring it up to camera first, let you have a look at some of these details. So that lovely dry brush effect. You can see where the paint has gone over the top of the image to help tie it all in. All right. So I'm going to pop her aside somewhere safe and... I've got this lovely image here from Visible Image Stamps and I thought I might stamp a dragonfly. you think I could find a smaller piece of cardstock, wouldn't you? You know. Now, I highly recommend using a stamp press. We have the Couture Creations stamp presses available. Uh, the one that I'm using is not Couture Creations. Uh, this is one that I've had for a lot of years, uh, but I do highly recommend investing in a stamp press. In fact, yeah, can't recommend them enough. They are super important to anyone who does any sort of stamping to put on your images. Um, the Couture Creations one that we sell, that we have available, you'll find it in the tools section on nataliemay.com.au. Um, absolutely an investment tool, excellent to have in your stash. So this particular stamp is called Dragonfly Reflection. And I'm going to stamp it here. So for those of you who haven't used a stamping press before, whatever brand it is, 
Um, the cool thing about it is, is I can stamp multiple times because the magnet holds my paper in place. Um, the stamp I can pop into position, as you saw me do here, like that. And then when you close it, the stamp sticks to the clear mat and you're good to go. What I am going to do before I start is I'm using black archival ink in black soot and I'm going to re-ink it. I am a die-hard re-inker. <laughs> I always re-ink my stamps before I use them because I want a lovely crisp image, okay? Nothing more than a squiggle. Um, highly recommend doing that. So, and I'm using an archival permanent ink because I'm going to be colouring my image with watercolours, I think. Yeah, why not? Okay, let's stamp this baby. So, stamp, adding the ink on. And then I'm going to use my stamp press tool, my knob, to give that a nice even pressure. And gently lift it up. Hopefully, there we go. Now, I want a little bit more depth. Actually, no, I've nailed that the first time. I'm really happy with that. Beautiful, done. Um, I might actually clean that stamp. I'm just going to... Because I've used a permanent ink, you can... Um, I'm, I'm not one for perfection on getting my ink off. It doesn't really bother me too much. But if it does you, then I highly recommend using... Um, I just bought in this week the stamp scrubby tool. Um, now I've just had a little idea. I'm going to do some extra wings. So I have a little piece of plastic here which no doubt is not showing up on camera but I thought I might add this particular stamp set has got extra wings. I thought I might do some layered wings. I've just noticed that. So I want that one there, that one there. Right. Now I have to get this right the first time because acrylic, I find, or plastic, stamps a little bit differently and I tend to get a little movement. A little bit too much excitement there. Where's my baby wipe again? And what needs to happen is pop those back on there, those back on there. Sorry, I dropped my heat tool, just looking for it. And I want to dry that completely so that it doesn't smudge. So rather, I don't want to turn this into a shrinky. <laughs> um, so I'm moving my heat tool very well to make sure that it is not going to melt my plastic. And then I'm just going to pop it aside to dry. Now let's go back to this image here. Uh, let's colour, let's colour, let's colour. What have I got? I have got some Altenew watercolours. Um, a little paintbrush. Any little baby paintbrush will do. Now a little tip when you're working watercolours, when you're working with watercolours, wet your palette first. 
you're working with watercolours, you don't want something dry. So I like to use my water spray and give it a really, really good go. And I've got enough here that I can do a little swatch on first. So because I have got blues in my background, I want to mix it up with something completely different. Uh, I want colours that I'm going to use are going to be opposite. So I love this, this lovely bright orange. And I'm going to use that one and I want to use this beautiful cherry red. Yep, I see. I love testing my colours first to see what, what I'm going to play with and then this lovely deep colour here. So you can see what's, what I'm heading towards doing. So I'm going to start with my lightest colour, this lovely rich orange. Now this is not watercolour paper. This is just Kazercraft cardstock. Nothing fancy. So I'm using... quite pigmented colour like that. Now I'm going to grab that other red that I had, like that one there, and I'm going to put it here. And I'm going to grab it off of there actually, I'm going to be a little bit clever. And while it's wet, so you have the ability when it's wet to move that colour around and I do love that. Now we've got a little bit of splatter going on here and that's okay. So because my colour, I've used enough watercolour and enough liquid that it's, uh, it's enabling me to blend those colours together quite nicely and let them just automatically run into each other. All right. So it's subtle but lovely and bold at the same time which does make sense to me and you can see that I've got no blend lines which so you know there's no color one color two color three because the right amount of um, water is being used okay Right, let's do those top wings. And because I don't want to accidentally drip onto there, I turn my image around. I'm going to do the same thing, but mix up my colours ever so slightly. I'm going to use that colour orange and that colour red. Slightly, slightly different. But I am going to also bring that deep red into the tips again. Swatching first, very important. So I'm going to start with this light orange. And you can see that I'm taking the excess off with my paintbrush. And I'm being very careful to not let this colour run into those other wings there. And I don't have enough water on that, that's better. And that beautiful red that I just put on is running nicely into the orange and we're creating a new colour. And then I'm going to grab, see this, this little swatches on here are still quite wet and the bonus about that is is I can pick up that pigment off of here and add it into here so it's just about taking a second and going oh you know what I reckon I can just mix those together nicely while they're wet and build up that colour Rather than just going straight in with a super wet brush, you can go with that less is best option to get something that works really quite nicely. Radio, And now I'm going to add a little bit of black. To the body 
just to give that some rich tone. And I'm using a very small amount, which is giving it a grey, which is perfect. And a tiny amount of blue in the middle here and here. And I'm happy with that. And I'll bring it up to camera. Oh, the lovely Naomi is linking some of the products that I'm using. Thanks, Naomi. Right, so I'm going to pop that aside to dry. That's very cool. Back to my girl. Let's add some stamping here. So for those of you just tuning in, you can find all of these products on nataliemay.com.au and I'm using my Dina Wakeley Craft Journal here. And I am, I didn't even see if that fits there. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, the Dina Wakeley Craft Journal with some acrylic paints. And this one here, our lovely lady, is called the Daydreamer. Okay. What's next? I have got the Funky Fossil Journal Marks by... The lovely Claire and I'm going to use these to create some images down and around here these spots are fantastic who knew that spots could be so wonderful in fact they are where's my ink pad black archival ink you could use jet black or you could use uh, jet black or this is the black soot and I'm going to pop some around here and I'm just using my fingers for that lovely organic look and what happens is these dots take the focus away from this cut or torn image okay and I love that so this is one of those stamps that you need in your stash it's perfect 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 so this is, and conveniently, 15% off today for you guys. Now, the other one that I love using is these crosses. Uh, everyone knows I'm a fan of, of crosses. I've got my little, little block. And I can't be bothered finding, uh, and navy blue ink would have been awesome about here, but I, I can't access it easily. From where I'm sitting so I oh, love that and I'm stamping over the black too because I do love it and knowing when to stop is important Natalie Put the stamp away. All right. So that was the art journal marks by Claire from Funky Fossil. Uh, and I think that's actually going to be enough stamping for me for the time being. Uh, I'm going to let... I've got going to put that aside to dry so I don't forget it. Um, what else did I... Oh, let's colour her face. Shall we do that? The other Altenew stamps that I have and use a lot. So this is the 36 palette and I love this one because it has this gorgeous skin tone in it. So let's get into this. Now this time I want to use a bigger, a brush that's going to hold a little bit more liquid. So um, I, have a, I have a brush issue ladies, like I have all the brushes. Everywhere I go I collect a paintbrush. Um, so let's go with this one and again I'm going to 
spray first because I know I want to use a couple of colours along here. Wet my paintbrush and test it first. I know this colour is going to be fine. So I have to work quickly here because I don't want it to soak in. So I'm going to go straight over. And I'm moving quite quickly and it's just putting a really lovely light tone over her face. And now I've got a darker pink or a darker colour and I'm just going to give her some depth in the side of her face there. And... Ooh. And I can't talk and do this at the same time apparently. And I quite like that. So now with a completely clean paintbrush, we're just going to tone it back. So if you have sealed it properly with, uh, with gel medium as you stuck it down, it should not soak in. If you cover it completely, which was that step that we did when we stuck this down, if you, if you cover it completely, what happens is it will seal it at the same time and it will stop liquid soaking in to the image. Um, and I'm happy with that, but I'm going to fiddle because that's what I do. So I've got some grey here, and clearly my brush isn't wet enough. And a little black, a little grey, and a little black, and a little grey. And I'm just popping a little bit of shading over the top here. How am I going for time? Oh nearly an hour that's pretty good all right done and put it away and don't fiddle if you fiddle and fluff around with it it turns into a hot mess radio i'm going to cut out my images now I'll bring it up to camera and show you how subtle that color is on her face as well just a little shade you don't want to, you know, I'm not too phased about making it perfect. That's not what it's about. Uh, so I've got my scissors. I'm going to cut all this excess off because I don't want that. And I'm just going to round this down. Using my Tim Holtz scissors. Best investment tool I have ever made. And 30 bucks per pair of scissors is bloody awesome. Um, Uniquely Creative have recently released some as well. And they are fabulous. I do, I, I, I really, really like them. Um, I don't have a set open. I played with a set that a customer purchased. Um, but if you have a big man hand like me, and you like to get, you know, three fingers into your handle, then the Uniquely Creative Scissors are a lovely alternative to the Tim Holtz ones. So this is not stamped on watercolour or anything, it's just the Kaiser Craft paper. Now down here, I'm just going to round it. I'm just going to round this tail of my dragonfly off. Bit of creative license. And same around here, I'm just going to round that off. I know it's some lovely detail, but for today's purposes, I don't require that lovely detail. So for those of you just tuning in, 
Welcome, welcome. I am creating a lovely, quick and easy little art journal page using a visible image stamp, which is the one that I have here, and a in my Dina Wakely craft journal. Now, the lovely Naomi has popped the links to all of the products that I'm using in the comments um, because she is an absolute linking queen. So thank you for that. Uh, and at the end of the class, I will take a photo of my finished project and pop it up for everyone to see. Now, this image, I would normally cut off the antenna because I hate fussy cutting, but I think they need it. So I'm just going to be a little bit fiddly here and do this. Um and have a little creative license. Dun -dun. And I will go in, oh, hang on, did I just cut that off? No. So, and I did mention earlier that um, I will be popping back in for a live after dinner this evening from the comfort of my home with my family on, uh, on this day and uh, on nataliemay.com.au until the end of today or actually till about you know midnight a bit after midnight you can get 15 percent off stamps stents sorry stamps dies and patterned paper on nataliemay.com.au and you can also get 15 percent off of life of color paint pens and gel pens as well so um, that is the special for today now this special will not be available tomorrow friday tomorrow friday we have a brand new special and to be perfectly honest i can't actually remember what tomorrow's special is so then we'll have a different special again on saturday so you can take advantage on all of these specials build up your stash of fabulous craft supplies that you must have in your life and then we post them out to you on Monday Tuesday and if you decide that you do want to order three four five times over the weekend fantastic we bundle all your orders together and you oh, uh, and you need to choose no judgment uh, at the checkout for orders after your first order so you still do need to pay for postage on full price postage on at least one order over the weekend uh, right so what I want to do now is I want to use my life of color pen now this is a black brush tip and I love this pen look at this it's wonderful and what I'm going to do is because my fussy cutting is so substandard I'm going to take away the freshly cut look by just outlining the sides, taking away that white core of the paper. And I'm even going to make his antenna a little bit more antennary, you know, antennary. So doing this can hide a multitude of cutting sins. Radio, happy with that. And I like, I'm happy with these little um, white bits because the white bits, like I said, give dimension and give pop. Now, earlier when I stamped these, these have dried fine. Now, this is just on an overhead transparency sheet. Uh, and I'm gonna cut these out. Now, this isn't as easy to do as I would like it to be because my eyes are tired. So I'm having a little bit more creative license. 
and that's okay because these are going in my art journal and my art journal is all about creating something that I love that is a, a process for me it's not a perfection it's not about perfection it's not about sharing it with every Tom Dick and Harry in the world and getting their you know professional opinion on it it's about creating something that makes me happy because that's how I roll I don't have, this this works really well in my head, so whether or not this actually translates to the page will be a completely different thing. But you could use, if you don't have a piece, a piece of plastic around, have a look at little things like, you know, the, the plastic that your stamps sit on, um, or something like that, a piece of plastic bag. Okay, bam, gets a bit lost there, doesn't it? What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? Oh, I know what I can do. Also in this Dragonfly Reflection, it's got this stamp here and this round stamp here. So I thought I might use that. Now, let's. I'm just going to, with my lead pencil, mark where it's going to go. The body's going to go about there. Do I have a white ink? Nope, I don't. But what I do have is a white paint. Now, I can stamp with a white paint. There's no rules to say that I can't. So, I've got white paint on here. And then I'm going to spread it out. Stamp into it. Now I'm going to off stamp onto the side and then go smack. Commit to it. <gasps> it worked. Yeah, that's better. I like it. Now what I do need to do is clean this off immediately because white or because acrylic paint on your stamp um, will dry on there quite nicely. So just a baby wipe on that straight away will work. Uh, what else can I do? I want to add some splatters. So I'm going to use some of this white paint and I've got a little water so I'm just making up a little liquidy splat. I'm going to put my hand here and I'm just going to tap around it happy with that so don't forget if you don't have the right color ink but you have the right color paint just stamp with it it'll be fine just clean your stamp straight away and don't take it straight from your pile of paint onto your project I find doing an off stamp onto something else first will actually give you a much nicer finish. Happy days. Uh, I need to quickly dry that off. And the splatters work. I like the white splatters because then it all kind of comes in together. Where am I going to pop that? That's better, isn't it? That's a winner. Now I want to use these little wings. And I'm going to pop them on the top or underneath. I don't mind them on top, to be honest. If they go underneath, they get lost. Okay, how am I going to do this then? Thinking, Natalie. All right. I'm just going to commit here and I've got some glossy accents. Because if I fluff around too much, then we'll be here all bloody afternoon. Right. So this dries clear. So I'm going to put a puddle onto my little mat here and just dip the wing in. Lay it over the top. 
and hold it, hold it, hold it. Just wait for that glue to catch. So Glossy Accents or Dimensional Magic works beautifully for sticking that, uh, for sticking clear things down. You still will see a little bit, but it's, it's generally not too bad. It's an excellent glue. I'm gonna stick that down. Uh, in a moment, what I'm going to do is add some dots of dimension down the middle of my dragonfly and then spread that out to give the center of my dragonfly a shiny finish. So the reason I'm doing that is because the wings are shiny. The wings are shiny with that uh, acrylic, with that clear plastic, and it works as an adhesive and it helps disguise the really dodgy job that I did gluing that down. Now it's only dodgy by my standards, not your standards necessarily, and that shiny shiny will dry clear, which we love. And spreading it out with my knife just like this while it is drying is working a treat actually. And then I can put a little bit on there and stick down his antenna so that they don't catch on something else in my journal. Excellent. Happy with that. And I'll bring it up to camera and show you in a minute because I know it hasn't shown up very well, but here it comes. Can you see that? So even though it looks milky at the moment, it will dry clear. Now it just needs a phrase, it needs some words, it needs some amazingness. And I'm going to use the words that came with this visible image set and I'm just gonna stamp them down here because I really can't be bothered stamping them on a bit of paper then cutting them out. Um, can't, be, can't be shagged. All right, first word. Reflection. Evolve. So these visible image stamps are just amazing. I love how crisp and clear they are. They are incredibly good value for money and very, very well made. Um, a brand that's been around for a very, very long time. And I love it. Right, done. Smashed it, owned it, love it. Now I'm fluffing around with it because, you know, that's what we do. Right, now I'm stopping. Ink away. Done, done, done. And I'm really happy with that. That's, that's actually worked out really, really nicely. So that little bit of stamping that I just added um, is this here. 
okay, that little circle. You can see those wings now have got a shine, have got dimension, they're still dimensional. They are adhered in the middle and stuck down beautifully with that Dimensional Magic Glossy Accents. Um, you can see the stamping, you can see the splatter that has dried up really subtle and lovely. And I love it. Right, navimay.com.au is where you are going to find the bargains of the day. You have got today only access to 15% off of stamps, 15% off of dies, 15% off of, off of patterned papers today, as well as 15% off of Life of Colour pens, all of the paint pens. So the one like I just showed you, wherever that one's gone, plus, plus the dot pens and, and the rest of the Life of Colour pens. Uh, you will find tag bundles, you'll find a heap of stuff in our show specials, as well as classes discounted as well with me, which is a fantastic opportunity that I don't, I don't discount myself very often. Um, the no judgment special is, of course, happening with postage. So postage is not free, but it is eleven ninety five for your first order, and then all orders after that you can choose the no judgment special. If you are in Adelaide, ladies, and you would like to collect your order, your order will be re ready for collection next Wednesday. Uh, our bricks and mortar store here in Adelaide is not open until next Wednesday. Uh, as we are on filming four times a day. So you can catch me back here tomorrow morning at 9am to hear all about the specials of the day, plus three more live Facebooks tomorrow. Um, you can follow me on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, all the things, uh, and take advantage of that. So thank you very much to everyone who, who tuned in today. And I hope you are all having a wonderful day wherever you are and whatever you are doing and whatever you are celebrating. I hope that today uh, makes you smile. Chat to you soon and I'll see you after dinner.